Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I wanted to go over some of the brand new features in version 2079 of Tablet Pro and the Artist Pad and a couple different things that we've added in and fixed and improved. And I am so excited about this update. Uh, there is a massive amount of huge features that we've added that will make a, uh, a great difference in what you can do and where you can do it. So let's go ahead and jump right in. For those of you that are uh, very astute and have been looking for this, you're going to notice something very specific about what's already gone on on the screen. Uh, number one, this is a Surface Pro X. You can see with those very slim bezels, the beautiful screen. We uh, compiled a version for ARM over the weekend, did a couple tests, um, changed a few things, and Takashi was able to get it running. It runs wonderfully, and I couldn't be happier. Using the Surface Pro X without the artist pad that I'm used to felt like I was trudging through mud. The next really big feature that we've added, and I have a video out uh, about this, and I'll have a tutorial out coming soon, but the real basic gist of it is that uh, in programs like OneNote, there are no keyboard shortcuts uh, attached to, let's say, the red pen or the white or the eraser or the selection tool. You just kind of have to stop what you're doing down here and go up here and select and move and want to undo then you're going uh, over here and tapping and back to the screen and this is all not new information for you guys uh, however in version um, not this version but the version right before this uh, we added the support to click location which means that I can now click these you can see here how quickly I can switch between the different tools and delete, restore, undo. Uh, restore is not actually a function, but uh, this is really, really cool, and this makes a lot of different things a whole lot easier. Uh, and I'll mention again, I'm using the Raphael 520 stylus. It's a two-button stylus. It's magnetic, which on the Surface Pro X actually goes on this side, um, but uh, it has the eraser button here on the side, which is why I'm mentioning it, because you can't do that with the regular stylus. So in the layout editor, how does that look? Uh, I'm just going to show you this quickly before we actually go into details on how to do the rest of this. Uh, so let's say or we're just going to select this one right here. Select this. Uh, down here, there's a click location. And what this does actually is it changes whatever button this is. Instead of having to figure out uh, all sorts of other things or change the layout that you currently have, let's say you have undo set to control Y, but you actually just wanted to click a location. If you click here, it just changes the function. You add the location and it sends a left click wherever on the screen you want, which in OneNote would be this location right here. And so in order to do that, um, we've added some functionality to the pen tool so that you can just press uh, Alt X and that will, uh, when the um, get pixel location function selected in the pen tool, you can just put the mouse pointer or the pen over the location and you can tap on the screen. Uh, there's problems, by the way, with the Surface Pro 7 and Surface Pro X with the pen tool, so it's currently not working on this computer. But you can use a mouse to do the same thing and use the keyboard chart all X, or you can find a program that will get the location of a pixel on the screen. So that said, um, you would just put the location right up here. This is zero, zero. This is the full resolution of your screen. And the left number moves higher as you go from left to right. And the right number moves higher as you go from bottom or from top to bottom. Uh, I think that should make sense. There's gonna be two numbers here. So uh, for instance, if we select one here, 841, 157, 157 is telling us 157 pixels down from the top and 841 pixel, pixels from the left side. So, and in this situation, that would be this button right here. So we're gonna go to fontawesome.com slash icons. And we're gonna click on this right here. And this is going to just give us the option to um, click here to copy that icon. I'll click on free. And then right up here, you just type whatever icon it is that you wanted. Uh, so let's say uh, we wanted one 
on death, an ever popular topic. And you can see right down here, we have Skull and Crossbones, Book of the Dead. Um, I like that it includes a meteor. That's <laughs> good to know. All right, so we're going to select the meteor glyph. Um, and then we're going to go back uh, over here to the icon picker. And down here, we're just going to paste it. And you can see the meteor glyph is now there. You click Save. And voila, we now have a meteor icon in nice bright red. Uh, there's also now a built-in color picker. So uh, we've made this a lot simpler as well. So you can just uh, pick whatever colors you want. And um, obviously this still accepts the hex color or HTML color codes. So you can add those in uh, however you want. The uh, pen tool also has a color picker built into it. And the color picker uh, is the shortcut is Alt C. So if you want to use a keyboard shortcut and the mouse, you can just put it anywhere on the screen and select that color. I like matching it to the UI of whatever program I'm using. So it's just a, another wonderful feature inside of the new version of Tablet Pro. So let's go ahead and set this icon back. So we're just going to drag, copy, paste, and we're good. Let's say we want the color to where it was before. We could either icon uh, color pick over here, uh, or we can just grab down here and go with that nice red. Click apply, and you see that it automatically applies over here. So one of the things that I'm excited about is uh, with these new features, like the click location feature, uh, programs that don't have keyboard shortcuts built in have all of a sudden become a whole lot easier to use in tablet mode. So Adobe Fresco, which I did a review on a few weeks ago, has zero keyboard shortcuts, not even undo. And now we can map uh, to undo just by the location of the button. So I'm super excited. I have been wanting this feature uh, for probably three or four years and am so thrilled that we finally have been able to implement it. Uh, Surface Pro X support is huge and again, makes this machine just fly. So i um, very happy about this update. If there's updates that you guys are looking for, there's features that you want, um, please let me know. Um, there's one feature that I'm really excited about the possibility of offering, and I'd like to get your feedback. Uh, we're not sure whether we're doing it or not. But here, let's go back into the layout editor. So Tablet Pro is built for tablets. But I think that there's a lot of different uh, situations where we could actually make a big difference in a huge different market. And so one of the things I was thinking about uh, right now, we're able to click and link to shortcuts that are built into the programs and we can and click spots by using a touch button over on the screen. But I think a lot of people still use keyboard and mouse and there's a lot of programs that just don't have keyboard shortcuts built in at all. I'm curious to see what you guys think about the idea of adding one more option down here for create shortcut. And so this would be in combination with the click location. So let's say you're using a program and it has uh, three or four buttons that just don't have keyboard shortcuts built in. So you're, you're having to constantly move the mouse up to a certain spot on the, on the UI to click it or go into a menu. And you really wish that there was just a way to get the developer to add a keyboard shortcut for that option. Um, what if we just added an option down here to put in your own keyboard shortcut, you'd enter what it is, and uh, either that or just selecting it from up here and, and a tab that says make keyboard shortcut. And it would click on the location that you wanted with the keyboard shortcut up here that you select. So I would hit, this is a terrible one, but control shift alt space and that would click whatever location on the screen I was trying to click. Let me know if that's a feature that you'd be interested in and uh, what other features you guys want with Tablet Pro. I'm excited, very excited to hear from you and so thrilled about this update. I hope you guys love it. Uh, if you haven't yet, it would be a massive way to say thank you uh, by rating us in the App Store. 
Uh, right now we're sitting at, I believe, just a little under a four-star rating. And uh, we've done a lot of different things to improve the software, as well as include all of these, by the way, in this update, all of these beautiful artist pads are now included uh, stock, so they're not a separate download. So when you go to load it, you should be able to find these immediately without a separate file or having, again, to uh, download uh, any of these separately. So if you would, please uh, rate us in the uh, Windows Store. I'll put the link. Uh, actually, I will pin the link at the top of the comment section as well as putting it in the description. Uh, this program, by the way, is $25.99 for the full suite. That includes all of our tools. Um, and there's just two people who are developing it is myself and Takashi. We both have small families and um, it's a tiny company and we would greatly appreciate your support and uh, that support goes into further development as well as taking care of our families. So thank you again for everything. You guys are a wonderful community to serve. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and until next time, stay creative.